Hey guys, Mike Sidepad Help 101 here today. I just wanted to show you um, what you do if you get the bl uh, black screen of death on your iPod Touch. Uh, this is a iPod Touch second gen non MC model. Okay, and what I'm gonna do uh, just to prove this is non MC or what 3.1.3. There you go. 3.1.3. All right, so now what you need to do, now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the black screen of death. So we're just going to give it a sec. It's going to restart itself when you're trying to do the jailbreak. And now you have the black screen of death. If you look without the reflection, you can see the black screen right there. Yeah. So now what you need to do, a lot of people have left comments saying that they think that this is the end to their iPod. Well, no. Here's what you need to do to get rid of your black screen of death. You do not need to hold down the home button or the power button at the same time. That will simply restore your device. I'm going to show you a really easy way. All you need to do is hold down the power button until it shuts off. Okay, release it and it'll turn back on. And then simply wait. Any time now. Okay, it reboots. Your picture should be back. You don't lose your passcode. That happens when you restore your iPod. All my apps are here still. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I didn't lose any of my music or photos. Um, you will not lose anything in this process. Uh, normally, when you do see the black screen of death, your iPod should be jailbreaking. But this is 3.1.3, so it won't be. And normally, we'd see our jailbreaking icon right down here. But we don't. And that's why I wish Apple didn't come out with the new part. So, that is how to get rid of the black screen of death. It's really, really easy. Guys, leave comments and subscribe. Hope this helps.